Sup, motherfuckers! Starting off with a basic character controller in Godot, the basic script for a character body 3D, it leaves you with jump controls that, even if you only tap it just lightly, then you'll jump at the same constant value, which means you'll jump just as high every time you press the jump button, even if it's a tap. If we want a smaller jump height when the player barely taps the jump button, meaning that they barely tap it, it goes lower, if they hold it down then it goes higher, then we'll need some extra functionality to make it a variable jump height. In our script, currently, we're applying this constant named jump velocity to velocity.y when we press the jump button within our physics process function. We're going to need to add another function to apply our intended variable jump height feature. What we'll do is we'll add the input function which supplies us with an event variable. Using the event variable, we could check if the jump button is released by using the isActionReleased function call supplied by our event variable. Then we'll pass in the jump string or action name that's named jump. Now that we know when the action jump or jump button is being released, then we could determine when to lessen our jump height. To do this, we'll add another check within the isActionRelease check and we'll determine if velocity.y is greater than zero, then we'll have the velocity.y. The reason we're doing this is because we want to lessen the y velocity if the jump button is released early enough, meaning that if we hold the jump button down, then this division to velocity.y will not be applied. So now if we hold the jump button down, then the player will jump higher. And if we barely tap the jump button, the player will jump lower. Before I was able to just tap it and get over, but now I can't get over unless I hold it down. So now if you hold down the jump button, you'll actually go higher. And it feels about like what you want. So you can actually play with this value. So I actually like to say it as a variable, let me see. So let's say var cut um, jump, oops, jump height. And then let's set that to float. And let's just set it to like 0 0.5 or 0 0.25 or something. So if you set it to like 0 0.25, if you notice, every time we're actually reducing the minimum jump. So like uh, now if I jump and I try to get over, it's gonna be a very low jump actually. So you don't wanna set it too low of course, and otherwise like it'll just make the minimum jump useless or it'll be a little inconsistent. Like sometimes you'll go higher on the jump, sometimes you'll go lower. But if you hold it down, you always go that max height as long as you want. And uh, yeah, so you could you could play around this value, whatever feels better, but usually a, a value of 0 0.5 makes the most sense. And uh, it just like, it's the most consistent, I think. But of course, there's always it, different needs in different games. So I hope this helped. Hope y'all have a wonderful motherfucking day. Whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, whoa.